Let's have a look at this story in Wednesday's Times. Now, it looks like our national football team are flying into Qatar in the gayest plane they could find. Yes, they're, they're flying in on Virgin Atlantic's rainbow plane, yeah. uh, which is the, the company's symbol of LGBTQ plus pride for the World Cup. And uh, the, the FA party didn't ask to fly in on this particular plane, uh, but were understood to be happy to do so. I mean, they couldn't really be like, you know, no, get me a straight plane. Yeah. You know, like, that wouldn't be a good look in 2020. But we have... We have criticised them, or at least sort of like beard-stroked a little bit, haven't yeah. we, over whether or not they're going to be hypocrites. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, I mean, uh, he's going to wear the... Harry Kane, the England captain, is going to wear the One Love armband. Uh, and interestingly, uh, FIFA's president urged, uh, urged him and other participating nations to let football take centre stage and not hand out moral lessons to the rest of the world. I mean, where has he been for the last two years? That's all football does anymore. Is there, See, did he even kick a, kick a ball? It, it, is against regulations. Now, yes. I don't really like imagine that poppies. FIFA are going to prosecute, but actually yeah. wearing any emblem, the poppy, for instance, or yeah. an armband such Or as taking that. the knee for BLM. And well, you have you to go. say, I mean, a lot of questions, it does it not? <laughs> because they, they spent the last two years taking the knee, but of course Black Lives Matter, but apparently the brown ones don't, in terms of the migrant workers yeah, who died yeah. constructing the stadia. Yeah. If every match ball contained the scooped out skull of a migrant, Worker, then perhaps you know. Oh, I yeah, thought you were going to give us an more... actual statistic there, but that's not. <laughs> what <laughs> if do we have to we're fill in figures, the we're talking about we're talking about hundreds, um, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's disgusting. They're going to be they're going to be taking the knee. They're going to be wearing uh, you know rainbow rainbow flags. But why why not boycott Qatar? Yeah, like, because they're too venal. Of course, they're they're too geared. Well, to, to, to they the cannot. It you wouldn't cannot, be held in Qatar. You if cannot the expect the players. I don't believe you can expect the players in the in their peak of their fitness. Is they get a World Cup no. once every four years. You can't put it all in their lap. It was FIFA who should never have yeah. paved it, cut the deal. Mm -hmm. But what we have, and it's not unusual in the world, is that you have ridiculous polarisation. So you have footballers with their virtue signalling rainbow laces yeah. and everything, which is slightly nauseating to a, an older generation. And then you have FIFA who are behaving like absolute lizards. And, you know, you just, <laughs> if they could just move a couple of yards closer to the centre yeah. line, both of them, then football would be sent to... What's great is Qatar, the Qatar World Cup looks like it's going to be a complete shambles. So I've seen footage of the fans' accommodation and it's a, it look, makes the fire Festival look well-organised. <laughs>